Where you going? Where you going? Baby girl. I can see you. I can see the bushy tail. I'm going out to Mr. Tom. I'll be back in a minute. So, I put the tarpaulin up a couple of days ago. Um, that's best of record. <laughs> um, it's been raining and it's been blustery. Do you think, Harriet? Hmm? What do you think? I was more concerned about... He can still get on his chair. That he chooses not to. Um, he can still get on and get off, and it's keeping the rain off. Um, I need to sort of do it better. I'll do that later. So, his house is fine, this house is fine, but more importantly, what I wanted to do and what I've done. Been so windy, so he's got his self eating thing in there and a blanket. Still got his straw in there, which I'll change at the weekend. He's had his breakfast, and that's what I wanted to do. He's got, um, oh, good girls, silly boy, get small. So he's got his food there and I'll get him some water and here he is he's the big boy what have I got for you what have I got Harriet doesn't seem to be keen on these Tom so I've got packets of them in the house she'll probably have a few but I think they're mainly for you here you go Bites. Serene and calming. You want some? You liked them yesterday, didn't you? Look, it's wet on here, you silly boy. Here you go. See how tame he is now? He's absolutely lovely. Tom? Are we all friends now, darling? You're a good boy. And yesterday he lay on his back and let me stroke his belly for a bit. He's become such a trusting little cat. I'll go and get you some water, darling. Harriet, he's your friend now, isn't he? He, um, look, a tree's broken. Um, the wind. It should have lasted longer than that. So I think I might, um, I'll get her another one. There was one on order, I don't know, um, never had to stock or something. So I'll see what I can do. She's good. And um, he came right up to the catty house this morning at seven, I think it was. And um, 
me mum and sit here for a sec. And um, it came right up. And uh, just delicately, delicately poured at the mesh. And um, Harriet was quite calm. She just sat there watching him. So it's good. They're, um, they're sort of friends now. You've become a very good boy, haven't you? Hmm? Very good. Having a little wash. I still haven't. I've asked two neighbours. They don't know. They think he's a local cat. Belongs to a local family, but I've got no idea. He doesn't have a collar on. He's very clean. Um, he sometimes disappears off late afternoon. Um, you know, and it starts to get dark. And comes back the next day. He's here every day now. I think he's missed one day in the last couple of weeks. He certainly loves Harriet. Where have you gone? He loves you, doesn't he? Let me get him some water. So it's nice to see them, it is. Hello. Gonna get on your chair. See, it, it, it was worrying me that if it was raining or if it was really cold. So he's got the two houses to choose from. He's got the tarpaulin to keep his. I can hear him crunching. He's already had breakfast. What time is it now? About eleven. So he had breakfast about four hours ago. So I suppose he's due. Um, I don't know whether you can hear him, he's crunching away. You can hear him. I've got a nice treat for you upstairs, Harriet, don't worry. Look at his little tail. Bless him. Mr Tom. Mr Tom. Harriet wonders what that big green thing is out there, that big green plastic thing. It's to keep your friends dry, to keep his food dry, to keep his water uncontaminated. He's not as lucky as you to have a roof, is he? Um, I'm still debating, I, I, I don't know. A friend suggested putting, trying to get a collar on him, if he'd tolerate it. Um, and writing my phone number on, my cell number, so that, um, you know, also somebody can leave you a message to say, yes, he does have a home, but he wouldn't tolerate it, I know he wouldn't. Um, and I'm not, you know, I don't want to break his trust now. Um, and of course, if he doesn't have a home, he's going to be stuck with a collar on, um, which I know he would hate. You keep going back to make sure <laughs> you're not going to run out, Tom. I've filled it for you, darling. So, yeah, they're friends now. I'm going to get him some water. And um, I've made myself a drink, which would have gone cold <laughs> by now, so I'll have to do another one. Be back later, everybody.